Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Let's End for the Logic. I hope you're not doing good. In this video, we are going to discuss about the program that was factorial of a number. So without making any delay, let's quickly jump into the discussion. So, what is a factorial? A factorial number is a mathematical concept denoted by the symbol. So this is how we denote the factorial symbol. And is represented by the product of all positive integers less than or equal to the given positive integer. So this is the definition of the factorial. That was the product of all positive integers less than or equal to the given positive integer. For example, the factorial of a positive integer n, which is denoted as n factorial, which is calculated as n factorial equal to n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3 into and so on, 3 into 2 into 1. So if you see what was the definition, the definition was product of all positive integers, which are less than or equal to the given positive integer, right? So what is my given positive integer? That was n okay n is the given positive integers so what are the positive numbers which are less than or equal to n they are n and then n minus 1 and then n minus 2 and then n minus 3 and so on 4 3 2 1 right so what we need to do with these numbers we need to do the product of all positive integers right that is what we did we did n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into 3 into 2 into 1 right in this way, we will calculate the factorial of any number. Okay. Let us take an example. 5 factorial. So, what are the positive numbers which are less than or equal to 5? They are 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Right. So, and what we did? We did product of all these positive numbers. 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So, the result was 120. So, the factorial of 5 is 120. So, now we need to write a code for this concept. So, without diving into the coding part, let's figure out the logic in a simple words. At first, we need to take the input from the user. So, what is my input? My input was n, right? And then the logic. So, my logic was I will use a for loop because if you observe, here I am forming a sequence, right? Here I am forming the sequence like n, n minus 1, and then n minus 2, and then till 1, right? It was going till 1. It was a sequence of numbers. Right. And I was iterating on these numbers. Right. At first, I will iterate on n and then n minus 1 and then n minus 2 and so on. Right. So that's why I will use a for loop. While iterating on the for loop, I will multiply all these values to some variable. Let us say I will use a fact variable. So this is my logic part. Now I need to finally print the output. I will print that variable. That variable was fact. Okay. Now let's do the coding. Okay. Let me keep a count first. So factorial of a number okay now let's take the input that was n n equal to int of input of enter a number right i will use a for loop for i in range of so what could be my range so if you observe i was starting from n and i was going till one right so this is my range right so my beginning value was n and I was going till 1, right? My ending value will become 0. So now, if I do keep the range function like this, how my series will look like? In the first iteration, my i will become n. And then in the second iteration, my i will become n plus 1. And in the third iteration, my i will become n plus 2. And in the fourth iteration, my i will become n plus 3, right? And so on and so forth. So this is because by default, my step was 1. So that's why every time my i will be incremented. But how I expect my series would look like? It would be like n and then n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3, right? It needs to gradually decreasing, right? So for that, what I need to do? I need to define my step as minus 1. So if I do declare my step as minus 1, then my series will look like n in the first iteration and then n minus 1 in the second iteration and then n minus 2 in the third iteration and n minus 3 in the fourth iteration and so on and so forth. So now there is no problem with the for loop. Now what I need to do? I need to multiply all these i values to a variable. Let us say that variable is fat and I will initialize it as some so and so value. So what should I need to initialize the fat variable? So let me initialize the fat variable as 0. Okay, we'll see how this program will work. So what I need to do now? I need to do fat equal to fat into i, right? So let's trace the code. So let us say my n equal to 3. So in the first iteration, my i will become 3, right? So fact equal to fact into i. So what was my fact? That was 0. 
into i that was 3 which is equal to 0 right and in the second iteration my i will become 2 right and then fact equal to fact my recent value of fact was 0 0 into 2 which is equal to 0 and in the third iteration my i will become 1 and fact equal to 0 into 1 which is equal to 0 so the final result was 0 but if i do 3 factorial my output would be like 3 into 2 into 1 which is equal to 6 right but my final result was 0 so what i need to do i need to change my fact variable it should not be initialized with 0 so then what should i need to initialize it with i will initialize it with 1 okay now let's trace the code initially my i was 3 and my fact equal to fact that was 1 into i so which is equal to 3 okay fine and in the second iteration my i will become 2 and i will do fact equal to recent value of fact that was 3 3 into 2 which is equal to 6 fine and in the third iteration my i will become 1 and my fact equal to recent value of fact that was 6 into 1 which is equal to 6. So if you see the final result and the actual result both are same. So I need to declare my fact as 1. The factorial of n is fact. Okay, this is the code. Let me run this program. So I will give 5. And the factorial of 5 is 120. Okay, fine. And let me run this program again. I will give 3. So, what was my result? It was 6, right? So, the factorial of 3 is 6. Okay, working fine. Let me run this program again. I will give 10. So, the factorial of 10 is 362-8800. Okay, fine. So, in this way, we will write the factorial program using for loop. Okay, now we need to write the program using a while loop. Okay, let's write that. So, let me remove this logic part. And I will keep while so what could be my condition so from where i was starting i was starting from n and i was going till one right so i need to declare my i equal to n and i need to go till one right and i need to keep greater than or equal to symbol so if you see i kept a greater than or equal to symbol because value of n and then n minus one and then n minus two all are Always greater than or equal to 1, right? So, that's why I kept greater than or equal to. So, what we need to do now? I will do fact equal to fact into i, right? What I need to keep? Do I need to keep increment statement or decrement statement? So, in our case, what we need to keep? If you observe, we are gradually decreasing our number, right? N and then n minus 1, right? So, we need to keep a decrement statement. So, I will keep i equal to i minus 1. So finally, we will print the output. That was factorial of n is fact. So let me run this program now. So I will give 5. So if you see the factorial of 5 is 120. And let me run this program again. This time I will give 8. So it was 40320. Okay, fine. Let me run this program again. So I will give 15. So that was a large number. Okay, fine. So this is the program of factorial of a number using value group. So that's it about today's video guys. That was Factorial of a Number. I hope you liked this video and thank you for watching. Hey folks, if you enjoyed this coding tutorial and found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Share it with your fellow coding buddies, drop a comment with your thoughts or questions and of course, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. Your support means a lot and it helps our community grow. Happy coding!